For more on all this, let's bring in Peter Schweizer, president of the Government Accountability Institute and author of the new book, Blood Money, Why the Powerful Turn a Blind Eye While China Kills Americans. Peter, thank you for being here. All right, so the Democrats saying he debunked every single email and text and financial evidence that we have. What about one simple question that I don't think that they've ever bothered to answer, either Hunter or James, which is why were foreign government related companies willing to give you millions of dollars? What did you do for those companies, right? No, you're right, David. And by the way, they kept sending money. They'd send five million here. They'd send another million there. And what Hunter Biden wants you to believe is they got nothing in return, but they kept sending money. Uh, that's laughable. There's no legitimate business purpose that he uh, provided no. for this. There was no product. They brought no capital to the table. So it's really a, 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 a farce. Um, yeah. and, and that's, I think, the bottom line. Are we really at the point in America where we're going to say that the first family of the United States, or in this case at the time, the second family of the United States, can accept tens of millions of dollars from foreign adversaries, and it's not a problem. Yeah, I mean, if and, that's possi the new and rule, possibly affect we have got deep, possibly deep affect foreign policy uh, that might relate to to some of the money that's coming into the family. But I just want to go over some of the emails, texts, and money transfers that the Democrats say totally uh, exonerated uh, Hunter Biden. The the first one is that that very mysterious check, or there there were actually two of them. One was for two hundred thousand, another was for forty thousand. That said, loan repayment. The, the, the $200,000 check, which is up on the screen now, coincided timing-wise with a particular business deal, did it not? And of course, loan repayment, we never have any evidence of a, of a loan ever having been made. But, but what about the timing of this check? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. You see money dispersed to Hunter Biden um, involving a Chinese deal, for example, and then the money gets passed around to the family. Uh, the family members aren't performing any services for these Chinese companies. Um, so it's absurd to suggest otherwise. Um, and, and look, the bottom line we have got to remember, and I think Republicans have to be reminded of this, America's bribery laws are very, very clear. It does not matter if Joe Biden got a dime. If your family gets paid and you perform policy actions in return for those funds, it is bribery every bit that's as right. much as if you get the money yourself. Yeah, and, and, and that's the key thing here. So it doesn't matter if Joe Biden got money. I, I want to talk about that, that WhatsApp text as well from Hunter Biden in which he said essentially, I'm paraphrasing, but he said, my father is right here. He was talking to one of his Chinese business partners said, my father's gonna be very upset if you don't send me that check. Now, we don't know specifically uh, whether his father was right there. There are ways to track where cell phones are, whether Joe Biden's and Hunter Biden's phone were, were at the, close to each other at that time. But there, there is a lot of evidence like that that exists, isn't there? Yeah, there's not one example, there's not two examples, there's numerous examples. And we know, of course, that Joe Biden would take phone calls um, from Hunter Biden and talk to business associates to sort of show the flag. So who do you want to believe, Hunter Biden trying to spin a couple of these instances or the overwhelming accumulation of information? Right. Uh, you know, since when did Hunter Biden become a credible witness on this stuff? They've lied since 2018 when we first exposed this stuff. All right, Peter Schweizer, I want to give the book another plug. It's called Blood Money, Why the Powerful Turn a Blind Eye While China Kills Americans. You've got to come back to talk more about fentanyl and, and why maybe the Biden administration is as tough as they should be against fentanyl. Peter, thank you very much for being here.